Hello, this is a uh, on Mac Drop Zone update one. I'm doing my best without tutorials to make it fully automatic. Uh, the gear works so far, and just one motor turns all of these gears. That leads to something that will switch something. There's going to be two motors. Um, and also at the top, it'd be like a switch, which will then trigger another motor, which will then slowly p push this back and forwards. See, when it pushes forwards, um, the thing will release. But, um, when it's back like this, then it'll keep turning. Well, I, that's what I hope it will do anyway. And, uh, this will, tr um, this is beginning of turning off the motor, which, uh, there's still lots of work to do. I'm kind of confused with how to turn off the motor at ju uh, just the right time. So, if you're good at making on max stuff when you have, like, or, like, off my connects, you can, then maybe you could, like, show me how. And yeah, I got a orange gear and stuff. So this what this is what it looks like. So as you see, we turn this into a thing. By the way, the clankity sound is just the orange gear. So yeah, pretend that this right here, the thing I I'm the motor that's about to pull it. Going like that, spinning the thing. And then I push it, and it'll reverse and, you know, fall. So, yeah. Now, and uh, RTP3 Park will be coming up very soon. I mean, you guys are going to enjoy it. Um, I decided to make several more rides, and then it will be finished. So it's going to be a lot better than my RTD2 one, except it won't have as many rides. So this is update one of the new ride. It's not a coaster at all. So I am going to be tracking it. And so yeah, rate, comment, and most importantly, subscribe or add me as a friend. Goodbye.